Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about the Dallas Cowboys trade assets, if any. The serious, all right? Cowboy time, baby. As you know, October 30th, or at the end of, end of the month, is the uh, trade deadline. So we have a couple more days here left still. Are the Cowboys done? All right, are the Cowboys thinking of making any other trades? Do they wanna add another tight end? Do they wanna solidify the center position? You know? What do they know about Travis Frederick's recovery, the prognosis? Will he have to retire? Will he be back? Um, so, you know, we'll see if the combos are done. Maybe they look at the safety. But if they're if they're done, all right, they're, they could be done now. Do the Cowboys, is anybody calling the Cowboys for any of our players? All right, that, that's what I wanna know. And in saying that, we'll go over a very few that, that may have interest here for other teams, all right? First one off the bat, Tyron Smith, all right, the beast. This is Jason Garrett's first pick when he came in as full-time head coach, uh, first rounder, 2011, all right. So Tyron Smith, all right, I think you're seeing what I see. He, he, he's blocking very stiff. He can't handle the pass rush uh, as good as he used to. Uh, in particular, we're talking about speed rushers, all right. He used to be able to handle and dominate all sorts, all right? He did. Bull rush, he could handle that strength and, and uh, negate it with his own strength. He could turn on a dime to block the speed rusher. Now you're, you're, you're seeing some, some issues like that. You're seeing some degradation, and I think that's the back. You know, he did yoga and um, very stretching and that sort of thing to try to try to get things where he wouldn't miss any time. So far, so good, it's still early. But you could see it, you know, the bend, it's, it's, he looks kind of robotic at times, looks a little stiff. He's still doing his thing. I'm not saying he's bad or anything. I think he's good. But there's a difference between good and elite. All right. And then I'm just being honest, straight up. I think, um, I think he's a very, he's very good right now. And that being said, you still have, if you, if you wanted to make a trade, if you want to pick up something for a player on the Cowboys, this will probably be the last year you could probably salvage something as far as a draft pick for Tyron Smith. I think he's, I think he doesn't have much time left. I think he's got another year or two at that. Um, <clears throat> it wouldn't surprise me if he's going to require surgery here at the end of the season or something, right? So something just doesn't look right there, all right? But what could the Cowboys get for a Tyron Smith? It's hard to gauge that, you know. I honestly wonder if he would even pass a physical at another team. Um, he probably would, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was an issue there. Um, but what could you get for Tyron Smith? Very good blocker. I think you could still garner um, a first-round pick for that talent. I really do. For the Cowboys, um, I don't see them making that move right now. The, the offensive line is just too beat up and. If you remove him from the equation and put somebody else in there, the, the, it would just be too unstable for what the Cowboys are trying to do. All right, so that um, probably wouldn't happen. But that's what the value is that I have for Tyron Smith. I think you could get a first rounder this year. <clears throat> but uh, moving forward, that value is going to decrease, I have a feeling. All right, the other player the Cowboys could potentially garner a draft pick for, Lyle Collins, all right, right tackle. Playing out of position, I think other teams will probably. I mean, they like the versatility. Cowboys like the versatility. But uh, you know, he's he's just okay, man. He's. Uh, I really don't see that much of an upgrade over what we had with Doug Free. You know, he has less penalties than Doug Free, possibly, but not much. I mean, we've seen these guys on the road. Lyle Collins and Tyron Smith have been killing us, but Lyle Collins' versatility. What could you get for him as far as a draft pick? If somebody, if somebody picked up the phone and said, "Hey, we want now Collins. How much? How much would you give up for him?" Cowboys would probably ask for something high, probably first, you know, because offensive lineman that's a that's a premium position, especially your tackles. So uh, I think you could grab a first for Lau. Coming out in the draft, he was he was projected as a high first round pick. Giants were actually targeting him. They ended up with Eric Flowers, the bust of busts. And the Cowboys got this guy free, all right? So there's a lot of value there. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, shit. 
this cough, dude, that winter, that winter uh, air, you know, starting to get, starting to get to people, including myself. Anyway, law cons. First, second round pick, I would think. Um, definitely the second round pick you could get for law cons. Would they trade for him? This is something that you could possibly get away with, you know, if you want to, if you were to trade Lyle Collins and get a pick for him, you could probably plug in uh, Cameron Fleming. There's a natural position is over there at the right tackle. In training camp in the preseason, they had him at left tackle, kind of struggled there with his feet and blocking, that kind of thing. With the Patriots, he was a right tackle. He's more of a natural right side player. So uh, I feel like there wouldn't be that much fall off, you know, so as far as like blocking, penalties, that kind of thing, you might be able to get away with that. So if somebody would call on Lyle Collins, it might be something they may have to consider, right? Anybody else on the team, I really don't see. Zeke, you wouldn't trade him. You wouldn't You wouldn't trade Dak. They wouldn't do that. So those are really the only two players that I, I think the Cowboys would would even dare consider picking up the phone and, and, and having a listen. Like I said, I, don't, I wouldn't see them trading Smith, but Lyle Collins... Possibly, if the right deal came along. All right, you do have some depth there, and um, and that sort of thing. You know, you you are missing that first round pick. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. All right, we'll see what Amari Cooper does for the team. Hopefully, that pans out. We that that trade needs to hit for the Cowboys. They can't miss on it because you're not drafting until the second round, somewhere mid second probably. So you know you're gonna be waiting and waiting and waiting as picks fly off the board premium guys all right so let me know what you guys think about any trade assets you think the cowboys could trade away i think those are the two that really pop off the screen um obviously zach martin would be one but that's a keeper all the way <laughs> i mean if you were to trade for that guy you're talking you're talking multiple picks all right and i, I don't i just don't see the cowboys doing that um but let me know what you guys think, all right? Do you think the Cowboys are done making trades? Um, did you like the Amari Cooper trade? And if somebody picked up the phone for somebody on the team, would you would you make that trade for any of the, any players? Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, guys, continue to like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you for the next video. Peace.